the things that matter most in our organization are students and teachers and, and teaching, if you will. And so to uh, better prepare um, our teachers for their, their jobs and support them in their work, uh, along with new curriculum, uh, we want to support teachers at the elementary level uh, to better do their job. The Anchorage School District strives to make its students and teachers excel. Instructional coaches in schools play an integral part. The idea is, you know, how can we support teachers in that work to get all students to that, you know, 90% level. Um, we can't do it alone, and so instructional coaching supports what teachers already do and takes them to the next level. And they like to look at their graph, and I would like a little bit of help on reading and interpreting that reading life data for them too. Instructional coaches serve many roles. They work directly and indirectly with staff. What I do is really based off what specific teachers need because each teacher is a little different, just like every child's a little bit different, and you really want to tailor your support to the teacher. So younger teachers or newer teachers to the profession might need a little bit different support than a veteran teacher may need. We co-taught a lesson since I'm new to grade level. Um, she taught a lesson, I watched her, and I, then I modeled it for my students. And I like the fact that she's here all the time and she's just a radio call away. They are a support team for principals. She helps uh, share uh, professional literature with me that she feels would be uh, good for me to be aware of and, and know um, that best meets the needs of our students here at Creekside. So uh, there's lots of things that she does every day that help me grow as a, as a professional. And the principal doesn't have a lot of time to do those PDs in the you know, in the right way, in the, to, to really go in depth. And so the instructional, that's where the instructional coach comes in and they can work together on professional development for the school that's targeted right to their population. Utilizing data, coaches track student progress and based on that data, they work with teachers to tailor the instruction to best suit each student's needs. Data drives my teaching and we uh, assess the students to see where they're at. And then once we have that information, we strategically teach to their needs. I've seen kids make, even in fifth grade, when they're not supposed to make um, any more than like a 0.5 gain or a word a week, and they've made 100, they, you know, they've gone from 50 words a minute to um, up to like 150 just because they've had such incredible instruction that year and in that they're ready to, to take that instruction and fly. What do we make with these? String stories. String stories. Through leadership, knowledge, and mentoring, instructional coaches lead their team to success. Our system is built off of really great relationships and great understanding of how kids learn. Act like you're giving the string a high five. And having a coach is value added, and I see that that is going to be a major impact in meeting Destination 2020 goals. Staff feel very comfortable inviting her into their classroom to uh, observe and give feedback on their practice, uh, particularly if we're talking about um, a new curriculum or if we're uh, branching out and trying something different, then uh, they like to have that feedback. Working with my instructional coach, Don, has tremendously impacted my students because to me, they're the heart of the school. Anytime I need help with classroom management or instructional or curriculum support, I can go to her. And um, to me, they're like um, professionals who are on site and who just are the connection to helping me become a better teacher. Better teachers, helping Anchorage's students shine. Harpoon. It's exciting, it's um, valuing, it's putting value where um, the value should be, right in the classroom. He was able to catch what? A fish. A fish. So that harpoon, he threw it once, he didn't catch it, he threw it twice, and he caught it.